guys. We're going to find out how to pronounce it here in the second. 1974 is when it's built. The Gin. Gin says oh, it's unlocked. All these locked? Probably not. Alright. How do you how do you pronounce that? Gwen? So I think it's Gwen. Gwen? 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 Oh, okay. Alright guys, Gwen, Alabama, City Hall, erected nineteen seventy four here it says. We are still in uh, Marion County, I believe. And uh, I'm guessing all these pictures are, well, obviously the ones that, that say the City Hall and stuff are part of it, but a lot of times in City Hall, all these photographs are usually local. So they've got some photos here. Different towns and visit their public buildings and see what the, the buildings have to offer. I'm sure the original post office little box sent, sent something in here. What happened? Oh, really? From, yeah. That's cool. This must be the council chambers. Right here. That. Holy moly. That opened up and that's what they, that had the, where they put the mail at. Oh, wow. From 1883 to 1888. Huh. Wow. It was down at the, the post office is down at the railroad track right there. The plaque, yeah. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. That's a piece of history right there. Yeah, I thought same way since you, you, you know, most people would see that and be like, ah, throw it away, you know, but yeah, that's a yeah, piece of history. Yeah, like a, just a flea market or, or something. Or a thrift store, yeah. yeah. a thrift store, you'd be like, oh, it's just well, a old one. of the prominent families in town had it in their family. It was, they lived up. North and uh, they, they sent us back. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. We were at a post office, I can't remember where it was yesterday, but somebody had a postcard of the post office when it was uh, first built. Right. And he found that in a thrift store in California and wow. mailed it back to the post office here in Alabama. And yeah, they, we, uh, we were. Was it Russellville? Russellville. Russellville. Yeah, yeah it was a Russellville. He said a postcard. Yep. And I was like, they found this postcard at a thrift store in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and mailed it back to Russellville, Alabama. And it was the, like he said, the, the picture original of the post office. Yeah, the same year uh, the post the office was post built. Office. That was unreal. Because most people just, you know, chunk it or whatever. All right, guys, so we got some more pictures here. This is late 1950s downtown. That picture right there is getting where it's kind of faded. Here's the city hall. That's this looks like it's probably the old city hall. Original draft of the city. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So that's like the original, like, uh, blueprints. Of the entire city. Mm -hmm. Layout of the city. That yep. Is. Lots. Got what the, it had the acreages and the lots and all. Yep, 105, 100. Uh, yep. Yeah, these are 100, 100, 100. Uh, here's a gentleman can probably tell you more than hey, that. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I'll always intrigue me when you got cameras. That's, that's amazing. Abs absolutely. <laughs> Phil Seagrace. I'm Mike. Phil, hey, nice how you to doing? Nice to meet you. We're just uh, driving through the area. We're actually heading south from Russellville and Hamilton, and we saw the city hall here, so we figured we'd stop. City halls are notorious for or keeping history, so we love to stop in. Usually there's local pictures that you won't yeah. find anywhere else and a lot of local history, so. Uh, we've got some old stuff on the wall. Yeah, we've been looking at that. This gentleman was kind enough to show us that old post office box, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what, what's the population uh, here in, in, in what is it, uh, I don't Gewin. Gewin. Yeah, Gewin. Gewin. About 2,500. 2,500? Yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. I couldn't remember if it was Gewin or Gwen. I no, knew it was well, Gwen. We get called everything. So uh, one of the most mispronounced towns. So <laughs> uh, There's a Gewin, which is in between us and Winfield. Oh, really? Yeah, there's okay. a, where are you guys from? I'm from Ocala, Florida. Florida, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's there's a uh, there was a guy that opened a drive-in theater in the mid '50s, and he wanted in between Hewitt and Winfield. Winfield's the next town uh, over, 
Oh, and so we got in between the two cities in an unincorporated oh, area and built his drive-in. And so he thought he would name it, take what? the GU from here and then the WIN from Winfield, put a hyphen in it. He call it GU Win Drive-In because it rhymed. Right. So it's the drive-in theater still there. Is it? still in operation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, we, we, so they formed a little town based on that theater <laughs> that has no, no tax, uh, nothing. Uh, no services. Well, that's the one will take care of other people. Yeah. And it's called Gee Win. So we get confused with that too. Oh, wow. No, what's that? It's from the Coca Cola Bottling Company. Oh, wow. It's got a light on the inside of it. They set the Cokes right here. The light shines in the Cokes, and you can see transparent through the Coke if anything's like in the bottle that's not supposed to be. Any debris or. Okay. Uh, anything that got in the bottle while they was making the Coke that's not supposed to be in there. Yeah, this is all a part of Americana. Getting back to the roots, you know? Yeah. Good, wholesome folks, hard working, this hard playing. One of our veterans right here. Good Thank you for your service, yeah, sir. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank well, thank you guys for. Uh, You're the mayor. I am. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. nice to meet you, yeah. Phil. Sea Grace. Sea Grace. Nice right. to meet you, sir. Good yeah. to meet y'all. Thanks for taking the time to show us around and tell us about I'm an old the. Oh, shipmate, uh, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Nice yes, Webb, well, I didn't get sir? to shake your hand. Thank you, sir. Coast. Very professional. I was on the Alabama Chief of uh, Police for here. Excellent. Excellent. Always trying to catch the plane. Plane guards, you know, the mm -hmm. old destroyer taking this ship right here. Yeah. yeah I was the one that you see on TV that's. Oh, one second the, one? Yeah. yeah, the signal before the, the 16s and 18s and 60s take off. Uh -huh. That was me up there. <laughs> well. I love it. The only regret I got in my entire life is getting out of the Navy. I wish I'd stayed in. I'd have like 32 years in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I come out. 75. Oh, I wasn't but six in 75. <laughs> I, I was two. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to be in the Navy in 75. Uh, All right, gentlemen. Yeah, thank you guys for the, yeah. for the uh, history. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, I love history. It's always intriguing to oh, you pick it up? learn stuff Here's you. from other places, right? You know, like, you know, that. And be, you know, uh, Excellent. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Yes, we'll sir. get out of your hair. Thank we you know you. we know everybody's busy. We all got jobs. Hey, really good. He wants to show us one more thing. Oh, does he? Yeah. He's going to open well, this, this town was formed in, based on the railroad. Uh, we had a colorful history. Um, the Burlington Northern Line at Frisco at that time uh, was coming through, and they they connected the west and the east right, right in here, and uh, the two tracks and all. But the, uh, there was a little town called Cobble. It's about two miles from here. Yeah, I saw that on that mailbox. That, that yeah. was was uh, was the town well, at that the time. No uh, FOP charter for our FOP. Wow. 1971. Yep. It's not that old, but right. it's old enough. Yeah. <laughs> Older than me, please. And my wife says I'm pretty dang old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. It's got the signatures of everybody. I'm mm -hmm. guessing everybody. And it's nice. That's, that's, yeah. It's nice that people keep stuff like that. You know, not a lot of times, you know, people just ah, well, you know, it'll go by the wayside and stuff. And unfortunately, we've lost a lot of history here in the country from you know just doing stuff like that. It's nice. Uh, to see that how, uh, you know, some how people, close are you guys to Muscle Shoals, like about the Swampers, you yeah, know, like, about like they talk about. 55 minutes. 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go up there so if I can get a chance sometime and look around. Yeah, that's uh, like Rolling Stone, Aretha Franklin, all that. Right. Uh, they were all over there at one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah was, uh, Stephen Tyler was up there mm -hmm. right for Christmas. Oh. I think recorded. Of this year? Yeah. They're still recording them there? Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't know it was still, I thought yeah, it was. Fame Studios and all, yeah. Okay, I thought it was shut down. Mm. That's cool, yeah, I need to get up there. Yeah, there's several recording. If I'd known studios. that, we would have went north instead of south today. Yeah. Because 
Um, well, I mean, I knew muscle shows and you know the Fame Studio and all that stuff, but I thought it was done. There's, some, there's some music Hall of Fame up there as well. Yeah, well, I knew that, but I, I didn't think we'd have time to tour the Hall of Fame, but just to go up there and just to see, you know, the, the studio. And, yeah. But I mean, if it's still going on, man, I've got to get up there because you know you hear Leonard Skinner talk about it all the time. Yeah. And like he said, Harold Smith. Franklin, Rolling Stones, yeah, you know, it's, it's been Bob more. Dylan's probably been up, you know, I mean, yeah. they tell how many famous musicians have That's recorded in most of the shows out of them. It's cool just walking down the same train. streets. Oh, yeah. Well, you well, never know. Well, He's eating at the same diner stealing uh, Stephen Tyler. That's how I went to Chicago. You know, I ate at Michael Jordan's restaurant, mm -hmm. and they told me he was, he was there like, 10 minutes before I got there, or it left 10 minutes before I got there, and I'm like, well, at least I'm That's walking in the down, same spot that Michael yeah, Jordan walked in. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's something, you know, well, little podunk people like me, you know, to... When I lived up there, I used to go to the same club that Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra would go to. I'd see them all the time. Same with uh, Billy Corgan from Snatching Pumpkins. He was always up there, yeah. And that's like when I met Muhammad Ali. You know, I mean, that's something that normal people don't... Right, because you know, I was overseas in the Navy, and they had a Muslim convention over there, and he was like the, the, the guest speaker or whatever. Or whatever. I mean, of course, when everybody saw him, it was like the Red Seas parting because yeah. here comes walking Muhammad Ali and everybody's like backing up going, holy shit, that's the champ. You know, I looked up. I said, dude, that's Muhammad Ali. He was probably from here to the other side of the road. You know, and he's like, man, you drunk, sit back down. I said, no, nah, because I mean, Ali, you know, I've watched many, many, many of his fights. And I said, no, that's Ali. I said, I'm going to get my camera. So I jump up, go on the ship, go down to the berth and get my camera, come back up. By the time I get back up, he's already on deck. And there's, of course, you know, I mean, you can imagine a dude, I'm fighting through there. Wow. Well, I'm getting, I said, I'm taking my picture. And <laughs> I've got a picture on my phone, me and Ali standing just like this right here. Me and Muhammad Ali. I mean, how many other people get to meet Muhammad Ali? Or yeah. take a picture with him? Yeah. yeah. You know, not only shake his hand, but take a picture with him. You know, that's the champ. And yeah. people think, well, this, you got to look, this is back in 96, 95. Uh, he's deteriorated a lot since then, but everybody thought back then he couldn't, Oh, no, he could throw them hands. He had a bodyguard to make two of that dude off of Friday. I don't know if y'all seen the movie Fridays, but what, oh, yeah, yeah, Cruz the big or whatever, yeah. yeah. Debo, Debo, he would make two of Debo. His, his arms were two times bigger than my legs. That's Ali why, slapped that's him. That's why I got dug around me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Ali slapped him around like a kid. You know, somebody <laughs> said, hey, champ, can you still throw them hands? And he's like, you know, he, of course he was doing this. He's like, I don't know. And about that time, his bodyguard just kind of done this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. About 10 <laughs> seconds. I mean, it's about 50 slaps for the other shadow boxing, but you know, the bodyguard was like that. And everybody's like, holy shit. You know, he's like, damn, he really can. You know, and I mean, that was just natural, something to natural, see. natural talent like oh, that. Yeah. Don't, don't deteriorate. Oh, the body I might agree with even, 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 even if he couldn't lift his hands, I guarantee you, in his mind, oh, he's, bam, 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 he's slapping he's the hell out of you. Yeah. And I said, I don't, I don't agree with everything he's done, but as a boxer, Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? I mean, best of the best. Oh yeah. yeah. And and for me to get to meet him, some little podunk kid from you know Alabama. <laughs> wow, it's Muhammad Ali. You know, it's the champ. <laughs> Thanks again, hey, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you too. Be careful today. Oh, we will. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, not like yesterday, yeah, raining. Know, it's just snow Saturday, Friday night, Saturday morning. What's that? Yeah, I didn't mean to tell you that. It's going to snow this weekend. Yeah, maybe oh, Saturday. really? Saturday morning is going to be an inch of snow. I'll be back in Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I told him I wish it was like it was this time last. <laughs> I was going.